All right, I'm going to have you go to Google and um, search for smoke clip art. And uh, this the picture that we want is this um, cigarette picture. Um, and we're going to go up here and copy it. Go to your Word document. And again, make sure that your cursor is uh, clicked in the white space, not down here or in any shape. And paste it. Control V here. Um, just like always, we're going to click on this, go to the little horseshoe there, and choose in front of text. Then go ahead and make it smaller. Um, I still have this open somewhere. Um, and um, so again, make it a lot smaller. All we're going to do really is just use it for the smoke of the chimney here. Um, we want to get rid of uh, the white around it, and then we're going to crop it. So under Picture Tools Format, and the reason we're going to do that is later we're going to change the background to blue, um, and we don't want this white box. So we're going to go here to Color, Set Transparent Color, and click on the white. Now we're going to, with the picture selected, go up here to Crop, and crop out as much of the cigarette while leaving the smoke as possible. Okay, we're going to send this to the back so you won't see that part there. And um, go ahead and hit crop there. Um, we're going to move this down to where you would just see the smoke and maybe just spin it just a hair. I'm going to have to move it down just a little bit more to get rid of that um, black part. Or I could try and crop it just a hair more. Just to try and get rid of um, that part. And now once I have it to where it would all be um, covered by the chimney, I'm going to go up here and choose Send to Back. Now sometimes that doesn't work and you have to choose Send Behind Text either way. Um, and now you just see just a little bit of um, smoke coming out of your chimney there. Um, we're going to go down here and uh, draw the um, draw a mailbox. So for the stick of the mailbox, we're going to use um, a can. So let's go to oops, sorry, insert shapes and find can and basic shapes and go down towards the bottom. Again, you want this to be a little bit propor proportional to your picture and you want just a little bit of room um, below it. So I'm just going to draw a little stick there and I'm going to change mine to um, brown here, like a dark gray, and then say shape outlines, change it to the same color. Then um, for my mailbox part, under shapes, under flow chart, I'm going to choose the flow chart delay. And first I'm just going to kind of draw it like that and then rotate it. Now we're going to create a text box on this. Again, you can go back later and change the color of your um, mailbox. We're just going to have it like that for now. Um, we're going to go up here and go to insert. Um, under insert shapes, go ahead and choose this text box here. And I'm going to draw it just a hair wider than my mailbox. Now look, my text right now is humongous. So I'm going to go up here and make my text a lot smaller, like size 7. And I'm going to type mail. I think I still need to make it just a hair smaller, or I need to make my mailbox maybe a little bit bigger. I'll just make it smaller for, and I want to go back and change the size. And then right after that, I'm going to hit Shift Enter so that it goes right below the word mail and go to Insert symbol, more symbols. Now it is a web ding that we're looking for. So again, remember, choose this down arrow, go all the way down to the bottom, then hit up until you see web dings. Okay. And then it's about in the middle and it's going to be the second one. And it looks like just regular mail and click insert. Okay. So right now you can see that it's kind of cutting off a little bit of my envelope. So I'm going to make it a little bit taller. And then I'm going to highlight that and hit center. So under home, center. 
All right. And then kind of move it up here. Okay. Now, for my text box with it selected under Drawing Tools Format, I can go ahead and click out of that. Drawing Tools Format, Shape Fill, No Fill. Shape Outline, No Outline. Okay. And then I'm going to change my font color now to white, now that there's not a white background there. Okay, so it looks like it says mail on my mailbox here. Now we just need to draw the red stick. So for this, we're going to use a line. So it's insert shapes. So I'm going to choose a line. Just draw it right here on the side here. I'm going to use my little arrow key to kind of place it on the side. Under shape outline, I'm going to choose red. And then I'm going to make it just a little bit thicker. Okay. Now um, I'm going to send this to the back. Now I don't want to send it, sorry, I'm going to send it behind. So right now it, for me to do this, I need to make sure it's in front of the mailbox. If it's over here, it's going to send it behind the grass. So I need to kind of move it over a little bit and under wrap text, I'm going to send, I'm going to choose, um, sorry, uh, right over here. I'm going to send send backward until it's behind my mailbox. So sometimes you have to click it just a couple of times there. So I, again, I didn't want to send, send it back because then it would send it behind my grass. Okay. So now we're going to go back to uh, Google here and we're going to search for um, a flower. So just go ahead and type a uh, flower. flower clip art. Okay. And the one that we want, let's just choose something like this. If you can't find this exact flower, just something like this will work as well. Um, oh, that looks a little greeny. So yeah, that'll work. Okay. So I'm going to right click on it and copy it. And then go here again, make sure that you're clicked in the white and paste it. Control V. Go ahead and move it in front of text. Make it a lot smaller. And we're going to move it down here by my mailbox. Now, um, I want to get rid of the white here. I'm a little worried because my flower is white. Let me zoom in here. So again, with that picture selected, I'm going to go up here to picture tools format. Uh, color, set transparent color, and click on the white. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to use a different picture here because the flower is white. Here, let me just choose this one. Okay. Right click, copy it. Same thing, just do that. Um, move it in front. So don't choose a white flower. <laughs> How's that? Oh, we're probably going to run into problems there too. My little flower has a little white spot there. Okay. Picture tools format, color, is that transparent color or white? Okay. Um, so uh, before, so right here, I'm going to hit, with that selected, I'm going to hit copy, control C, and paste it, control V. Okay. And then move it on the other side of the mailbox. And then Go up here, and yours doesn't say the word rotate. You'll just see this little sign. Um, choose a down arrow and say flip horizontal. And I'm going to kind of flank the mailbox here with that. Now, I want these flowers to look like they're kind of embedded in the grass here. So I'm going to use my freeform line again. So I'm going to go to insert, shapes, freeform. And I'm just going to draw a little patch here that's going to cover my pictures and I'll change it to the same color as my grass and no outline. So then it just looks a little bit more like my stuff is in the grass. Okay. We need to, um, oh, we're going to add a picture of kitchen clip art. So go up here to kitchen. Oops. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to choose this one here. 
So I'm going to right click on it, copy it, go to your Word document again, go up here and paste it, control V. Okay. Normally these come in really big. So move them in front. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the side of our house here and then make it look 3D. So I'm going to move it here, make it look like we're looking through a window here. I'm going to move it here, rotate it just a hair. I need to make mine just a little bit smaller. Okay. So I'm going to go up here to Picture Tools Format and just choose just a basic, ooh, no, those are all pretty big. Um, I'm going to choose this, this one, but that border's really big. What's this look like? That's not bad. Um, and I can adjust the picture border, the weight of it to two and a half. Okay, now I need it to be 3D. So I'm going to go up here to Picture Effects and choose 3D Rotation. I'm going to choose this one so that it looks like it's, part of the house and then rotate it just a hair. Then if I wanted to make it look a little bit more like windows, like you're looking through a window, I can go to insert shapes line and draw a line down, change it to black and two, the same width as my other one. Oh, no, I guess I did one and a half, and then same thing, one going across. And then black. And then one and a half. All right. We're going to add um, a sidewalk here, but we're going to try and make it look like, per give it some perspective. So we're going to go to insert shapes and choose the moon here. Just kind of draw it like that. And then kind of make it look like it's going off. Some people say like when it's blue, it looks like a, a lake or a river, but we're actually going to make it a sidewalk. So I'm going to fill it the same thing I did over here. So under shape, uh, fill, texture, just choose it that same color. Um, we're going to find a picture of a man running or somewhat clip art running. And then I'm going to find a picture of a dog running. Okay, now depending on which picture you choose, you might need to kind of make them a little bit smaller, uh, rotate them, and then maybe even make them 3D a little bit. Um, then we're going to choose it. We're going to use a, uh, you can just use freeform or you can use scribble or whichever one and you're going to draw a picture from the hand to the collar and then I'm going to move this girl in front so that looks like it's well that looks like it's in her hand so it looks like they're running there then um, this time we're going to choose for the stick I'm going to choose just a regular rectangle and um, an arrow here probably choose the other arrow. Um, and then we're going to write on it dog park. And again, what I might want to do to my arrow is make it 3D so it looks like it's kind of pointing in the same way that the dog. So I'm going to right click on it. And this one you should just be able to go to add text and then just make it smaller. And then depending on whatever color you want to make your sign, like you could change it to the uh, thing of your door, same thing. All right, um, then we're going to insert a sun. And then on the next video, so for your sun, you can either put it up here in the corner or you can put it down here behind your grass. In the next video, we'll go over the sun and um, the uh, requirements for the assignment.